Hey everyone, it's Kim from Three Olives Branch, and today we're going to be making this amazing non-alcoholic mocktail recipe. It is made of fresh and bright flavors with a whole lot of green, including cucumber, lime, and some fresh basil. So it's really refreshing and a great way to enjoy a mocktail or non-alcoholic drink without a whole bunch of heavy, sugary flavors. Uh, before we get start talking about the drink and what you'll need and how to make it, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And let's go ahead and get started. Let's talk about this drink. Okay, let's take a look at all of the equipment and ingredients you're gonna to need to make the cocktail. We have a cucumber, of course. You could use any variety of cucumber. For a standard cucumber, it's gonna be about a quarter of one will make one drink. And then we do need a little cutting board and a knife to cut up the cucumber and the limes. And then of course some ice for serving later, our glass that we're going to be serving in. We need some fresh basil to put in the drink as well. Some lime juice. I also recommend using fresh lime juice instead of of what comes in a bottle at the store. It's just a lot fresher and brighter. It has a better flavor in my opinion. Uh, we also need a little bit of simple syrup and then some club soda to top off the drink later. And then we have a jigger here to do measuring of the different quantities, but you could also use measuring spoons. And then I like to use a juicer to squeeze the limes. I find it gets a lot more lime juice out of one lime than just doing it by hand. And then I also have a muddler here. This is specifically meant for mashing things together essentially like drinks and it's just going to get all those flavors blended really well you don't need one that's specific for muddling you could also use like the end of a large spoon or something else that has kind of like a flat blunt end that would fit inside of your drink to mush everything together. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with making the drink. Okay, so to make the drink, I am actually just gonna build it straight in the glass that I'm serving it in. You could absolutely do this in like a shaker or a separate glass or some kind of mixing glass if you want to, um, especially if you wanted to strain out all the extra pieces and remnants of the fruit that's in there. But I actually like leaving those in drinks um, for flavor and because it's pretty. So I'm just, again, gonna build it straight in the glass here. So we have the cucumber slices that I put down at the bottom, and then we're just gonna add in most of the rest of the ingredients. So we have basil, these were really big leaves, so it's three really large leaves or six medium ones. And then we're going to add in some simple syrup, and then also lime juice. And then at this point, we're going to go ahead and muddle everything together. Again, this is going to not only release flavor, but also some color and really give us all of those flavors in the drink itself. Um, it's important to have some of the liquid in here, whether it's the lime juice or the uh, simple syrup to mash it up. It'll be a lot easier than trying to do it dry. So just push really, really hard. You can see I'm just going kind of straight up and down and looking for larger pieces and mashing. And you can go as far as you want to with this mashing process, um, but once you start seeing some of that color being released into the drink, you know it's doing its job. All right, so now that we have this all mashed up, we're going to finish topping off the glass. It's gonna be really fast and easy from here. Uh, if you wanted to make this into a larger batch, you could absolutely go to this point with as many pieces as possible in like a pitcher or something that's larger. So we're gonna add in some ice. And then all we have to do is top with some club soda. I like to use club soda because it's bubbly and I like bubblies, especially for drinks and mocktails. But you could also use lemon lime soda or even just water if you prefer. And then just give it a little bit of a stir here. Mix everything up. And then you can garnish it if you want with some of the other ingredients like uh, cucumber pieces, basil, lime wedges, anything like that. So that's it. There we have our drink. Cheers. All right, and that's it. As you can see, we have our finished drink here and it took just a couple minutes to put together. And again, it's gonna be full of really wonderful, fresh and bright flavors, perfect for the summer, spring, warm weather, and any time that you wanna have something really refreshing without it being super heavy with a lot of fruit juices. So I hope you enjoyed this drink and following along. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more. You can find more of the specific ingredient quantities and steps down below, as well as a link to the official post. Thanks so much. Cheers, until next time.